Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to showcase all the new stuff added to Planet Zoo with a new free update 1.9. Uh, we'll go through all the things one by now. I will show you all the things that you will get with this new free update. Uh, even if you won't buy the new wetlands animal pack, you will still get those things. So all the players will be able to uh, use those things to uh, play with those. So this is really exciting. Uh, there are some uh, stuff officially announced for uh, by Frontier. There are some stuff that are surprises to us and I will go through all of them. The surprises include, for example, a new trees. So this is really exciting. Uh, before I start, let me give uh, a big thank you to Frontier for providing me uh, with an early access to this new update and new DLC. This is my first early access, so I I am super, super excited by it and I am super thankful and yeah, this is just amazing for me. Okay, but without further talking, let's jump right into it. <laughs> So a first big thing that was added to the game are the roaming educators. So let's showcase this. I will uh, hire a new educator to the zoo and I will show you guys how uh, does this work. So you choose an educator you just hired and here is an employment uh, tab. And as you guys can see now, it, it, the new educator has two new tasks. It has a present roaming talks and present animal talks. Uh, we don't have any talking points in here, so we can actually unclick this one. And now the new educator will do only the, only the roaming talks. What you can also do is uh, add the worker to the work zone. I already created created a work zone for, for the otters and the platypus that we have in the uh, in the zoo and uh, he will start his job soon and I will showcase this uh, when he starts uh, this talk. One, one thing I forgot to mention is that I created the zoo uh, as a celebration of uh, release of a new pack. Uh, so you uh, will see here the animals uh, from the new pack, but if you don't own the pack, you still will get all of those new features, just as the roaming educator that I will show you guys in a second. Okay, so as you guys can see here, our educator will, will uh, just go through the zoo and will start the talk from time to time as long as this uh, task is clicked here, is ticked on. Here's actually uh, uh, what topic he's giving a, um, a talk on. So it is really cool because you can see what he's talking about. It is not always about the animal that it is near. Uh, sometimes it is on, uh, I had, for example, a guy talking about the amphibian something. So I think that they talk about the stuff that is also on those uh, conservation posters, which is really cool. They just go through your zoo, uh, stop, and the people gather around them and they start this talk uh, really quickly, they finish it and uh, the people just, you know, continue to do their thing. They hit go he goes to another place, uh, starts again and yeah, really cool addition. I think it helps with your education, so uh, I am really happy that it was added to the game. And here you have another uh, educator who is just starting the talk. Here you can see that this is the uh, talk on the spectacled caiman. People are gathering. Uh, there's this cool animation of her giving a talk. And in a second, they will just spread out and continue going through your zoo. Okay, and this is basically the end. And yeah, such a cool thing. I really, really like this new feature. The next big thing and very useful thing added with this new update is uh, the explore camera mode. Uh, so right now we can only uh, do one click and enter the explore camera mode without uh, having to name your ga uh, your staff member as a Tejitcam. So right now you just need to click here on this camera 
uh, down there the new menu pops up and you just click on explore mode and you choose where you can want to appear as a guest so we are now in this walking mode we can walk around i just opened this you know uh like uh, little help for us to know all the controls inside of this a uh, new mode, so of course we can zoom in, of course we can rotate the camera however we want. Uh, we can actually rise the camera, so we are a bit taller. Uh, and we can uh, go lower, like a crutch or something, to be at the uh, child level, I guess. Uh, we can also, also use uh, escape to uh, exit the camera mode. We can uh, hide the HUD. D, I think it is called by using like this one. I would just call it UI, but here is the HUD. And you can toggle a flashlight using L. You cannot see it because it's a day daytime, but if you would like to play in the night, you can use uh, the flashlight. So, really cool. I love this menu mode. Uh, you can just walk through your zoo just like a guest and it was also cool you can actually build from that, that perspective so you can go to construction and for example you can i don't know build, build uh, a new uh, fence a new wall or something and you just see it from the guest perspective so this is really cool if you want to do like some you know detailed work and you would like to know what your guests will actually see how is their uh, is it leveled to their height and so on so yeah very useful thing i think that i will use it from time to time the next new thing added to Planet Zoo with a new update is an audio visual management. So you just go here to your zoo tab, uh, you open it and here down there there is a new audio visual menu. And as you guys can see here you have speakers, billboards and cameras. And it allows you to manage all of those devices from this one menu. So you have, uh, for example, here I have three speakers in the zoo uh, like different animals that they give uh, you know the educational talk on you can see how many i have for each animals uh, you can go to them to see where they are so this is very useful if you are looking for them you can see how if they are operational or not and how much does it cost you to run them uh, the three of them cost me $30 right now. So when it comes to billboards, you also have all your billboards and your information boards in here in one menu. Again, you can see uh, the information that they are uh, showing in the gas. Uh, you can see if they are operational and how much uh, yearly we are spending uh, for the new billboards. Uh, there are actually two linked boroughs, so we have uh, two uh, boroughs linked to uh, two different webcams, uh, or one webcam and we have, I think, yeah, we have one borough linked to two different billboards because I have it set that way, uh, and we have one custom image, I added it just to check it because also right here you can check this source of the billboards, so in here you can see all the animals, and if you have your own uh, uh, custom billboards you see which uh, actually which file is uh, uh, set in which billboard and you can go to this billboard check it out uh, this is actually my uh, adoption certificate so if anyone wants to adopt an animal you can uh, do it in this zoo okay so that was a new thing really useful uh, it helps uh, to you know uh, they have control over your finances uh, also they are of course cameras uh, there's animal borrow uh, i have two habitat cameras and the security camera post and you can enter the view of those cameras in here from this menu and also you see how much they cost you of course so you can enter for example this view and it right away teleports you to this camera and you can see how many capybaras I have in my habitat. Okay, so that was the visual management, uh, the new thing added with a new update.
So the next thing added with a new update is a new terrain brush, the flatten to Taras brush. And I'm not gonna lie, I had to take some time to figure it out, but I finally did. And it is not so difficult uh, and I'm sure you guys will figure out it as well. You just have to learn your basics. So at first I didn't know how to use it, but now I do and I will showcase it to you guys. So as always, we have the intensity uh, here like in all of those brushes we have a size of a brush uh, we also have a scenery lock which is on all almost all of, or, or all of those things uh, and uh, here we have a Taras height and this is the important thing so what you need to do uh, is to create for example a heel we'll do a big heel uh, to showcase this tool for you guys uh, and to know uh, for you to know what you can expect of it okay the heel should be big because we want to take good uh, do a good showcase uh, so now we take this brush uh, we can lower the size a bit and we choose the height of the taras that we would like to get so let's choose for example three meters uh, you choose it, you take the intensity to 100% because then you can see those terraces the best. Uh, you like uh, have a, the size is fine and you just click and start and go down and it will create those terraces as you guys can see really easy. You just click your mouse and it does it for you. The height of those is 3 meters so it will go uh, down every two meter every three meters and do those uh, terraces for you uh, easily in an easy way so uh, you can create really cool stuff with it you can do very cool uh, like mountains or I don't know uh, habitats even I can imagine cool habitats uh, made by with this tool for example doll sheep or or any other uh, animals but because you use this brush you are able, you are able to create something like this in a second it was so easy and just look at it it looks really really cool and those are the terraces that we just created Another very cool thing that you can do with this brush is to create these shallow pools for your bathing animals such as uh, macaques or capybaras or you can use them however you like in your habitats for decoration, for creating wetlands and stuff like that. To do it you need to make sure that you have the shallow pool offset on and to choose the size of uh, the brush and now we can go through uh, this terrain as you can see it is lowered a bit and now on I should be able to add the water in it and it is very very shallow. Uh, how we can also use it is for example I don't know create this stump of terrain and uh, again use this uh, brush with the shallow pool offset we can lower it here and we are able to add the shallow water we can also add no, not here, but uh, yeah, we are able to do it. Uh, and then we can click once more. We can add the height, for example, to three meters, go down, and we still will be able to do the shallow pull down there. We can also feel this, of course, but we are always able to add this very shallow, shallow water. So also I can see uh, people using it in a very creative way. Uh, because always we are able to add this free shallow water and right now if you will do it right you should do uh, you should be able to do those steps uh, with uh, the pool offset I actually didn't have a patience to do it uh, because uh, you need to be very careful not to have like those you know edges everywhere uh, you can uh, try to do it, but this will be a bit challenging. But yeah, this is really cool. And the fact that you can do it, those things really easily with just two clicks is also really, really nice. And you are always uh, able to be, be sure, you are always sure basically that the bathing animals such as capybara and uh, uh, Japanese macaque will be doing their bathing animations in this water. And that's basically it when it comes to uh, this new terrain tool, uh, the flatten to terrace brush. 
So the next thing that I would like to showcase are the new uh, water customization tools. As you guys can see, we have those two holes in the ground and we have those two tanks and I will fill them in the water with the water in a second to show you guys all the new things that we get. So let's start with those two. So uh, of course we go uh, and check, uh, select the water with this tool and we can click on it and we can go to the customize uh, tool tab in here. We can change the color, water color. There are some presets as we are able to do it earlier. Here. So let's stay with a clean water in here. We can change the transparency uh, like we were able before. We were able before, and right now we have those two new options. So we can add the bubbles in the water. We can also ch change their uh, intensity as we were able to do with the transparency. And as you guys can see, there are a lot of bubbles appearing in the water without the need of using the F, uh, the axis. We can just now have the water full of bubbles. And as you guys can see, this is how the in intensity works when I push it to 1.9. 1.0 sorry uh, there are a lot of bubbles in this uh, in this water section and it looks so so cool okay so the next one uh, we can actually choose this uh, this uh, pool here uh, we will maybe change it to dirty uh, because this is how the mist effect I think looks the best because now we will showcase the mist effect so let's uh, slide it to the right and we should see some mist appearing here as you guys can see also we can change the intensity but it looks so cool just like hot springs but also you can see uh, this you know mist effect uh, in swamps or in some other uh, places around the world so it is just like perfect for our wetlands uh, in this new and this new pack that was just released uh, so we can add uh, it here, of course, the water, uh, and we can showcase, uh, we can show you guys this, those new tools here, how they look when it comes to, for example, your under viewing, uh, underwater viewing section. So let's add the bubbles in here. And as you guys can see, this is what the guests will look. So those bubbles are a bit intense when you go uh, full on on the intensity. It looks a bit weird, <laughs> like your, I don't know, uh, mineral water or something. But of course, I'm talking about the sparkling water. But yeah, this is how the bubbles are looking. And we can add the mist effect to this uh, tank. Uh, so, of course, we do it by clicking here. We, for example, use the dirty. I will like make it more transparent and add the mist. The mist effect is on the surface on the, of the water. Uh, you kind of can see it from here, but uh, of course, the main uh, like uh, mist are, is coming from uh, here, from the surface. So, those were the new uh, water uh customization tools i really like them i love those bubbles uh if you use them right you can actually add a lot to your habitats and this is also cool if you want to do like a wetland zoo or something like that also when it comes to the water another new thing is that you can change the water inside of the exhibit so we need to click this this is the new exhibit uh, the animal added with a new pack uh, and here we have this customized tab we can go there and uh, as you guys probably know here are the windows that we can change but down there there is this water customization tab you can use the natural color of the water or we can choose uh, like any other you can do it red if you want to and so on and you can change the transparency of the water inside of the tank so we can for example make it orange if you want to uh, so this is how it works in the newt enclosure we can quickly change that into to natural if you want to uh, by clicking it and yeah, I really love it. I think that it adds a lot of, you know, 
just customization if you want to do like your uh, reptile houses or something. Sometimes this water, I think, looks better when it's a bit mur more murky when it comes, for example, to the frog habitats and stuff like that. This is, of course, the newts, and in a second, I will show you guys the other animals where you can change the water. So I didn't check all of them, but those are the uh, exhibits where you can change the color of the water for 100%. So this is the diamond terrapin. Uh, you can change the transparency or color of the water in their exhibit. Here's an Af American bullfrog from the North America Animal Pack. Here also we can change the water color. Uh, and in those smaller ones, when the water sections aren't so big, uh, you can also change the water. So this is really cool. This is the boa and you can go to the customize app and change uh, this water color. Uh, it is not so like prominent, but if you change it to something more, uh, I don't know, colorful, like black, for example, not, but you see the point. It is changing a bit, maybe not as, because the water is shallow, basically. Uh, you can see changing, but uh, because of it being so shallow, the effect is not so like very visible, but still it is so cool. Here's the giant uh, Goliath frog, sorry. Uh, and of course, here you can also change uh, the water. I think that the murky water will be just perfect for this, this frog. And yeah, really cool that it was added. Uh, maybe not a huge change, but something cool uh, to have in your zoo. So another thing added with a new update is a small boro, the one that you can see it here. This is basically a smaller version of a boro that we had earlier. It can be used by two of the animals that we already have in game. Uh, uh, for It is used by the prairie dogs, uh, as you guys can see them in here, and the meerkats that are in here. I especially built those small, very easy habitats to showcase the small boros and how they use them and also I put the big borrow next to the small borrow so you can see uh, the difference the game doesn't allow to put them actually closer to each other uh, but yeah this is how the small borrow looks uh, of, of course also the small borrow uh, is used by the platypus that was added with this new pack uh, but uh, the animals that you already have in game will always also use them as long if you have the african dlc for the meerkats or the north american dlc for the prairie dogs to see the animals that are inside the borough, you simply need to click on it and uh, click enter camera view and you can go inside and see the sleeping prairie dogs that are inside of the borough. Super cool addition, those animals are known for borrowing, for building underground tunnels, so it, it totally makes sense to add the borrows for them. Uh, maybe we'll actually be able to see the meerkats as well. This one is just chilling. This one is sleeping. So yeah, really, really cool addition. I am so glad that they were added. And of course, the platypus is using them as well. Another new thing is that you can now add the screen from the cameras inside the boroughs to the billboards. So for example, we can add uh, this billboard right here. Uh, we can just click here, add it, and we should be able to go in here to this camera and choose the borrow that you like to see. I think that this is, for example, the third one or the fourth one. Uh, we will look for, oh, for example, this one here we can see the meerkat. So it's a really cool way of showing the people, the guests, what is going on inside of those borrows. If you are like feeling, uh, I don't know, crazy or you have any, uh, you know, uh, like reason to do it, you can actually do it, for example, on the screen like that. Just place it at the camera and do the borrow here and the guests are able to see, for example, meerkats entering and going out of the Boros. I don't know why you would do it, but you can, you totally can go for it if you want to. What I would do is just go for the smaller one, the smaller screen added somewhere near the fence 
and of course at the uh, view from one of the burrows so the guests can see like a glimpse of the animals that are in the burrows right now. So really cool addition. I think it's a really cool thing to have uh, those screens uh, so the guests can actually see the, or your animals when they are all in those burrows because sometimes they can all go, all go there and uh, the habitat is basically empty. Then another new thing added to the game is that the macaques, the Japanese macaques are now able to bathe, to do the bathing animation. So here is the pool uh, done with a new shallow pool uh, taras tool uh, and as you guys can see they can now go into the water and hopefully they will do the bathing animations for us. I added this mist for a better effect of the hot spring and uh, they right away run into this water and I hope that we will see the animation. I will make sure to catch it on camera. So here we have the Japanese macaque just sitting in the water and chilling. They do that a lot. They just go into this pool. Uh, they just do some scratches as you guys can see and just chill in this pool uh, with this shallow water. So this is cool because this is what they do in their natural environment. They live in those colder climates and they use those hot springs to warm themselves up. As you guys can see, here's another one sitting. So they just go chill in the water and yeah this is so cool that they actually do it that they will go to this water and sit together really cool new thing added to the game so now it is time to have a look at the new enrichment items added with a new update. So we have two new uh, underwater feeders. Those are the flat versions. I didn't test actually if they need more like uh, the shallower water to work than the huge, the bigger ones. Uh, I hope so actually, but I didn't test it. Uh, so we have the new uh, underwater fish feeder flat and we have the underwater plant feeder flat and also we have another version of the water of the jet uh, water jet the rock water jet this is just a rest cane but I think it looks so 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 much better than the other version uh, because it just looks more natural and then there are those enrichment items and I am not completely sure that you get this uh, if you won't get uh, the new uh, animal the wetlands animal pack I don't think so but I can be totally wrong so those can be used actually by the Japanese macaque and the uh, and the capybara they are the, the those are the hot water tap small and large and we also have the underwater submarine boy uh, it is just laying like that because it is not in the water when it is in the water it works a bit different so here we can see the Japanese macaque enjoying the hot water tap. It is just sitting under it with the hot water pouring over it and it's, it is looking so like relaxed and yeah I really love this enrichment item. I of course showcased it also with the capybaras in the video where I showcase all of the animals from the new pack. So this is so cool. You can actually put it in the water and they will still use it. So you can do just like a hot spring like this one. And yeah, really, really cool addition. And this is the underwater boy that I told you guys earlier. Uh, this is the underwater enrichment items and uh, item and it actually like floats when uh, it's it is underwater when it is not it is just laying on the ground. Uh, again, I'm not sure if you will get this with the free update, but uh, when you get the DLC, you will for sure get this enrichment item. The animals will just you know uh, swim to it, bump it with a head and swim uh, the other way but still a really cool thing to have to encourage animals uh, to die for us a bit more. Another thing that is added to the game and I was really pleasantly surprised by because it uh, wasn't announced anywhere that it will be added is a new foliage. We get new aquatic or wetland trees. Uh, so we have free version of the water to to Pello, I think it is pronounced, I'm not sure. Uh, so the small one, uh, the like uh, middle one and the large one. 
and they are really really cool trees i really love how they are looking i love the leaves they are really detailed actually uh, the bark looks really really cool and yeah really really pleasant surprise i was so like amazed when i saw them i uh, of course went through all the things uh, to see that they didn't like give us any surprises and they did i was able to find those trees and they are just perfect so those are the the other set of trees this is the bold cypress uh, again really beautiful uh, we have three versions the small one the middle one and this large one and what is cool we also get those uh, bold cypress knees so those roots that go out of the water if the, the tree is actually growing inside of the shallow water uh, those are the air roots i think that they are called so uh, it like uh, grows out those things just to give the air to its roots uh, i don't know if that's the exact explanation but this uh, this is i think what they do so really cool stuff i can imagine you know putting a lot of those uh, around this tree not like that obviously uh and you know adding this tree in the shallow water or something that would be amazing they are just beautiful i love the needles because i think that this tree has a needles actually and the bark looks really beautiful so yeah what a pleasant surprise i am very very happy that they were added i especially love those trees i think that i will use them a lot in my zoos because they just look just amazing i love the color of the leaves and yeah really really cool cool surprise frontier thank you so much for those uh, i will oh, for sure use them uh, in my zoos a lot Another very cool and useful thing that I found while building at my wetland zoo, I stumbled across it by accident and I decided that I haven't seen this thing and they must have added it with a new update, is the random rotation all tool. We of course had the ram random rotation tool uh, before. Uh, you just click in here while placing some objects and every time you click, uh, they will be you know randomly placed in different angles but right now we can also have the random rotation all uh, and then if you do it it will be rotated you know uh like horizontally and in different angles with the gizmo with the axis uh, they will be upside down, they will be, uh, you know, crazily uh, randomized. Uh, so yeah, this is another new thing. And I think it can be actually really uh, useful with some things and I will showcase it in a second. So remember our good old Planet Zoo rocks? You tend to use them only in that way, you just, you know, check, get the rock, you place it, you just rotate it like that, you place those rocks inside of those habitats, uh, and still they are looking really cool, but you are just using one side of the rock, and imagine doing it like that, so you are using all of the sides of this rock and they are equally beautiful and equally well, well made you just do you don't need to use just the top part you can use uh, them also building like uh, rock formations and stuff like that will be even easier because uh, you won't make them so repetitive because the rocks can be uh, like randomized can be you know placed randomly with different angles and stuff like that so I think that this tool is super super useful if you like to uh, you know use your and do your uh, detailed rock works inside of your habitats. Okay guys, so those were all the new things added to Planet Zoo with a free update 1.9, at least all the things that were officially announced and the things that I was able to find while building the zoo you can see in here. Maybe there are some things that I missed and they are, that are also a surprises to us. If you will find those things, definitely let me know in the comment section down below and I will make sure to let my 
subscribers know about the new things that were added to the game and that I missed. By the way, you can see uh, the new trees used in here. They are just perfect and beautiful. Okay, guys, so this is all uh, that I have today for this video. I am super happy that those things were added to the game. Uh, all the updates make our beautiful and lovely planet zoo even better. So I am always happy when they are released and they bring so many new and useful things to our game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you were able to learn something about a new update. Uh, I hope you are as excited as I am for a new update. If you enjoyed this new video, please get, consider to give me a subscribe to subscribe the, to uh, my channel. This would really mean a world to me and would help my little channel to grow. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And comment down below what is the thing that you will use the most, what you think will be the most useful and what is the the thing that you like the most about the new free uh, update for Planet Zoo. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!